This is the ICS321 screencast on installing Oracle Express Edition on uh, Ubuntu in VirtualBox. And uh, this is a first part of an uh, install video. This is the pre-installation steps that you need to take. Um, now, we, uh, I assume you have downloaded the Oracle Express um, zip file, RPM zip file. And that should be located in um, it should be located in the downloads directory. Well, I, at least in my instruction, I said you know put it inside the downloads directory, uh, create an Oracle directory in it, and put it there. Okay. Now, uh, what you might also need is um, uh, the instructions that I've created, which is uh, um, adapted from a blog. Uh, me and my Ubuntu blog, and um, that was very helpful. Um, and you might need these instructions. Now I'll be changing these instructions, uh, updating them as I go along, so it may not look exactly the same as what you see here. Okay. Uh, in any case, we are at. Uh, I want this to be, yeah, there we go. I want this to be small. Uh, and it would be nice if I can make the screen bigger. Um, I wonder if I should try that, but uh, let me do scale mode and take a see. Oh no, it just makes it bigger, it doesn't really help that much. Okay, um, okay. so here's what we're going to do first. We are going to um, unzip this and here we go. Oh, it's done. Right, uh, now note that it during the unzip it created the disk1 directory and the RPM file is inside the this one directory. Okay, nothing to be alarmed of. Now, um, I we need to install a bunch of extra packages. And um, now, where is my? Oops. No, I don't want that. Okay, good. Okay, let's make it little. I don't need to see that much. Um, I do want to see a little bit of this because I have some commands here that I need to look at. Now, um, I need a bunch of um, a bunch of uh, packages, so we need to install those first. So let's type those in. Now, let me make this even smaller. So I can see what I type in. sudo apt get install alien. It's a software for converting the RPM files to Debian files. lib asynchronous io1 unix odbc. Okay, you need to put in your password and just hit yes. And again, it will take a while. It's going to download the packages from the web, so it will take a while. And I'm going to pause this recording until it finishes. Okay, I finished installing those packages. Uh, now um, I'm going to convert the RPM file. Um, so let's go to disk one and um, use this command. Use the alien. Uh, program scripts minus d and then the file or go up here. Okay. And again, this might take uh, quite a while. 
Okay, in the order of minutes. So again, I'm going to pause. Okay, the um, uh, conversion of RPM to the Debian files are finally completed. Uh, now we can go to the next step. And um, bring this a little bit over. Uh, there's a bunch of scripts that we need to create or modify. So the first one is called the SBIN CHK config script. And you're going to use a text editor called Pico. This is the easiest one, uh, I believe, to use in Unix. And it comes pre-installed. So um, let's go ahead and, uh, and actually um, create that file. Okay, um, sudo pico sbin chk config. All right. Uh, now, in this editor, you you type whatever you want, and then the the commands here at the bottom here tells you uh, gives you the keystrokes. Uh, the caret sign means control. Okay, so control x to exit. Okay, and that's pretty much all uh, the commands you need. Um, let me try and see if cut and paste will work. You need to cut uh, this script here. And um, come on. We'll cut this script here. And let's see whether we can do a copy. And here, let's see whether we can do a paste. Oh yes. Um, oh okay, I, I copied too much. This changed there. It shouldn't be there. Alright, so this is the script that we need. And this should be the first line. And uh, we just hit Control X. And say save buffer. Yes. Save it to that file. Yes. Just hit return. And, and you're done. You, uh, that file exists. Um, but now we need to change the permissions of that file. Okay. Okay, so that I can see the command as I type it sudo chmod755 spin chk config. Okay. And uh, that's done. And the next step is uh, we need to set kernel uh, parameters. Again, we have to edit a particular file. So um, let's do that. sudo pico tc sysctl dot d sixty-rco.com. And here we need uh, again to copy this script here for the kernel parameters and do a copy and do a paste here and we are, yeah, we are set. So control X to save, yes, save it to that file. Um, I believe okay and this is just to check if the file is indeed there so you just do a cat pretty much so sudo cat so my s d six zero so just the file is indeed there um, and now we have to actually load the color parameters so sudo service service Yes. Stop. And um, let's hope we didn't screw up. We can check it by doing sudo sysctl minus q fs file dash max. And that is indeed the same. Uh, parameter that we entered. 
Okay, so I think we're in good shape here. Okay, just uh, another few more steps. Um, we need to set up this mount point. Again, we have to edit this file. And let's do that. sudo pico, etc. rc2.d uh, s01 shm load. Okay. And let's hit return. And uh, we're going to copy this follow this script here. that just copy it and paste it here uh, I want this to be the very first line control X yes save okay and uh, now we have to change the permissions of the file by using um, sudo oh it needs to be sudo chmark 755 etc. rc2.d s01 Okay, at this point you need to reboot. So um, I'm going to reboot to a shutdown. Restart. You don't really have to reboot, you can actually run some of those commands, uh, but it's just a little bit easier to reboot. So I'm going to do that. All right, um, and I'm going to stop this video now, um, and the, the following video will continue on from here.